Okay, here's the Blackhawk. Wanted to show you how the transmitter functions. Kind of make sure that everything's working properly. So, here's the transmitter. And turn it on. That one's throttle, rudder. This one is elevator, ailerons. Now, the switches and dials. This switch right here, that's the throttle hold. Towards you will disable the motor and cut the motor so that way when you move this, the motor will not turn. That's that guy. This guy over here, normal mode is away from you, idle up is towards you. So this is your stunt mode and that is your normal mode. Now there's dials on here. This dial right here is your channel 5 gyro gain at straight up and down 50%. That is no gyro gain. To the left is rate mode, and to the right will be heading hold mode. This other dial right here, this is uh, kind of a hover pitch. Uh, basically, you can set it and forget it for the most part. Um, when you turn that, the collective as a whole will move up or down. So basically, if you are at mid-stick, that'll be zero degrees pitch, but you can go negative one or two degrees by turning left, or positive a few degrees by turning it to the right. So basically, you want to set that to where you get zero degrees pitch at mid-stick, and you'll be good to go. So, make sure that this one here is always away from you to start it. Throttle is down, and turn that up. That'll make the throttle hold go on and the motor won't spool up. So if you saw and heard all that, you plug in the battery, the servos will center themselves, the motor will beep three times at you, that means it is arming and armed, and then the tail rudder goes into rate mode or heading, heading hold mode. At the moment the dial's down here at middle or low so that is rate mode. If I turn that dial up it goes into heading hold mode and you saw that the gyro had the little light come on. So when you're in heading hold mode you can adjust that gyro gain until the tail starts wagging back and forth and then you can lower that gain down again to where it holds steady without wagging. That's what you're after. So to show you what the other knob does. See if I can get them both in the shot. This is hover pitch. You can see it kind of moves, moves the center of the swash plate up and down and that changes your collective pitch. So we're going to set that to roughly zero and leave it. Now, with the throttle hold on, you can safely lift this and the motor does nothing. Now if you watch the swash plate, here is full negative, full positive. That's your collective pitch range. Put that in the middle and then here's your cyclic pitch range. So, lower the throttle back down, turn that back to normal mode. And your normal mode, I have less negative pitch involved because it, when you're spooling up, you don't need all that negative pitch. So when you spool up nice and slow, the swash plate will only change a few degrees until you get to mid-stick, and then you will go full positive collective pitch. But in normal mode, you won't have all the negative pitch. So very little movement from zero to mid-stick. But then if I were to switch it into idle up, then from mid-stick down, you have full range. So. Anything more than hovering, you want to be in idle up. Other than that, normal mode. Very little negative pitch, and that just keeps you from stuffing it into the ground when you're learning. So you have good head speed at mid-stick and above for hovering. If you get in trouble and you give it some down, all you're doing is killing the motor. You're not going to stuff it straight to the ground with negative pitch. So that's how the transmitter works. That's the functions of the helicopter. And uh, just to show you, I'm going to have... Normal mode by this down, throttle all the way down, take the throttle hold, click it off, 
then if I give it just a little bit of throttle, it spins up just fine. And there you have it.